Hi Magic Makers, it's Carolina and today I will be talking about the first baby steps that you can take when you're only just starting with tarot or oracle readings and you have no idea where to even begin because everything seems so overwhelming. So I'm going to give you some tips and tricks on where to begin and how you can start your card journey. So let's dive into it. how you feel because I can still remember my own feelings when I got my first tarot deck when I was 15 from my mom and even though I was always fascinated and really wanted to dive deep into it I was like how am I ever gonna get my head around all of this information it's just impossible I will never be able to remember all of the meanings and stuff and I would say that this is really the classical error that we all make when we are only just starting with card readings in general because the truth is it's not about you getting your head around it but it's about heading your heart, uh, getting your heart around it and what I mean by that is at least from my point of view tarot readings are all about intuition and your intuition is never in your head that's your intellectual knowledge yeah. but the truth is you don't need any of this information at least in the beginning all you gotta focus on is how your cards make you feel because feelings and emotions that's the core of your intuition. That's your inner compass. And that's why you're doing the readings in the first place anyways, because you wanna feel somehow or feel differently than what you're feeling now, right? So the first and the easiest thing that you can do when you get your deck and you have no idea where to even begin is to go through the deck and just connect with it, okay? Go through each and every one of the cards and just have a look at how it makes you feel, how pretty or not pretty different images seem to you, you know, how you connect with your deck and how you feel about it. That's the most important thing, which is also why it's crucial that you are working with cards that you will actually like, because if you have a deck that you hate for some reason and you don't really want to work with it, you will have a lot of resistance to it and you won't even get to this part, okay, which is kind of like the basic step in connecting with your deck in the first place. So make sure that you're working with cards that make you feel comfortable, that you like, and that you, in the best case scenario, can't get enough of. Because what that will cause is some kind of bonding in between you and your deck. Another good idea that's excellent not only for beginners but for everyone really is to have a tarot diary where you make notes and write about everything that you have felt or thought or anything that came up to your mind meanwhile you were going through your deck or doing a reading. Okay, And what you want to focus on again is how different cards make you feel because that's really the foundation of the entire tarot reading as a whole. So make notes about, oh yeah, this card makes me feel scared or worried or insecure. This card makes me feel really good because it's abundant and vibrant. And these notes are super useful, not only because you can reflect upon where you are at right now, but you can go back to it as well and see whether there is any progression and changes over time. So as you go through your deck, you want to start playing with your cards. And I'm a huge advocate of play because I feel like that's exactly what you want to bring into your life as a whole, but your readings especially. And that's the willingness to receive any kind of information that might be there, no judgment, and just the pure energy of enjoyment of the process, really. Which is exactly the opposite of what our head usually does, right? Like you pick a card and immediately the first thing that comes to your head is, oh yeah, I gotta go to check in the textbook what the card actually means. And you never even get into the space of, well, how do I feel about the card? What meaning does it have for me, not for someone who has written the textbook, right? So one tool that will help you in this process is to imagine that you are a little child that has no idea about what's right or wrong, what things should or shouldn't be like, and just allow this openness um, of, you know, minds and heart to come into play and go through the cards and if something comes up an idea that oh maybe I could combine these two cards and how would they look like together or maybe going deeper into the meaning so for example you have this card and you look at the tree and you're like 
oh, what does a tree mean for me? And what is the sun about? What do I associate it with it? And how does it make me feel? Maybe it would make me feel better if it was in combination with some other card. You know, things like this. And just what I'm trying to say, I guess, is don't put any pressure on yourself. Just have a go with it because that's why you're doing this in the first place, right? You just want to have fun and discover the possibilities that are out there. So allow yourself to do it. You don't have to be an expert the first time you have opened up your deck. And then eventually, as you get to know your cards a little bit better, you can start doing readings for yourself. And I always recommend that it's better to start with just really simple one card readings because you don't get confused with the other cards and how they interact with each other and you know if they're upside down and all this stuff which is another thing just make it as easy as possible for yourself so i'm gonna make a different video about this but sometimes what happens a card can come up as an upside down one and some people interpret it as something some people don't but again don't get caught up in way too much detail and you know that eventually will make things just too complicated for you that you will get like oh whatever i just i just can't do it anymore i'm just too tired so keep it simple so that it's still fun you know and if you don't know what to do about upside down cards just take it as if it wasn't upside down as if it doesn't mean anything, if you're confused about different symbols in your card, well, don't pay attention to them. Just pay attention to what actually does catch your eye because that's probably something that's relevant to you anyways, okay? Summarize it. The first thing you want to do is to bond with your deck and just get to know your cards separately and really get to know your deck and connect with it. The second thing is focus on your feelings and start with feelings first. Don't go to the textbook. Now, I don't want to say that like it's wrong to go to the textbook or you shouldn't do it or anything like that. Of course you will do it and it's the right thing to do as well. But what I'm trying to say is to start with your feelings first, okay? Because they are always more important than what someone else has written somewhere, okay? The third thing, the third thing gosh, would be keep a tarot or a card journal where you express all your feelings or your thoughts and that you can go back to and reflect upon it and just yeah express yourself as a whole really the fourth thing would be uh, play and just have fun with it and you know as soon as you start pushing imagine yourself being a kid and what would a kid do with the cards you know be open-minded and just experiment and allow yourself not to be an expert in something that you're just starting with really and if you're ready uh, to move on to actual readings, then the last tip would be to keep it simple and easy in the beginning. So start with just simple one card reading and you can eventually start adding more cards when you get to know them better. So I hope uh, this was helpful, that it all makes sense. As usual, if you have any questions, just pop them down below and I'll try to answer all of them. And thanks for watching and I'll see you soon again. Bye.